Now to boys basketball where section play will wrap up this week. In section 6-4A, an upset in one of the tournament semifinals. Second seed Wyzetta taking on third seed Cooper. Devin Mosby gets the steal for Cooper and it leads to a fast break layout for Bijan Newburn. Cooper takes a 5-0 lead. Nathan Hill drives and hits a runner off the glass. The Hawks establish a lead early and never give it up. Damian Gordon has a big game. He pops a three on his way to a 21-point outing. And Cooper's up 18 to 11. Why is that up? Battles back though inside to Austin Slater for the hoop. Trojans within four at halftime. Second half, Melvin Newburn comes up with a loose ball and lays it in. He's in the right place all game long. Gordon takes an open three and it gives Cooper a double digit lead at 42 32. Wyzetta closes the gap again. Ryan Lindbergh's long three pulls the Trojans within 54 52. Gordon throws long inbounds pass to Melvin Newburn for two of his 28 points, and Cooper's up by five. Wyzetta down three. They get a last chance to tie it, but Lindbergh's contested three misses. And Cooper celebrates an impressive 70 to 67 win. We'll have more on the Hawks Tuesday starting at 4 on 12 News. The first semifinal match, four seed Armstrong against top seed Hopkins. Armstrong hoped to pull an upset against the Royals in the first semifinal at Osseo. Mayor Coffey's been bothered by a toe injury, but he nails an early three here for the Royals. Ishmael El Amin sinks a long three. The Royals' first five baskets are all threes, and they're up 15 to five. True Thompson, nice crossover and a floater for Armstrong. He scores 13 first half points. But it's all Hopkins. Coffee with the steal gets it to El Amin for the layup and two of his 25 points. And the Royals blow it open to lead 38 15. Thompson gets the rebound dunk as the Falcons try to battle back, but they're still down a 20 at halftime, 51 31. Armstrong makes a few mini runs, but they never really threaten in the second half. Hopkins cruises to a 91 69 win over Armstrong.